Hello kids, this is Neha here and welcome to Aditya Kids Education. Today we are going to learn about air, its properties and uses. But before starting that, I want to give you a very important information that if you have any queries or any question related to my videos, you can ask me on my telegram group and I also share my videos on that group. So, if you are keen to join that group, you can directly go to the description box, click the link and there you can just join it. So, let's start our topic that is air. First of all, see here, the leaves of the plant are trembling or moving. How it is happening? Yes, it is because of air. Yes, which is all around us. Okay, now. What is air? Air is a mixture of gases surrounding the earth. Dear children, can you see air around yourself? No, we cannot see air. We can feel it when it moves. For this, take a piece of paper and fold it to make a fan. Use the fan. Do you feel the air? Yes, try this at home. Okay, now there are three forms of air and they are wind, breeze and storm. So, first of all, we will see about wind. Moving air is called wind. Okay, wind that blows gently is called breeze and we enjoy cool breeze. A very strongly blowing wind is called storm. They damage houses and trees. Now let us see the properties of air. And the first property is air occupies space. But how can we say this? Let's do an activity. Take a balloon and start blowing air into it. What you notice? Yes, the balloon becomes bigger and bigger and this shows that air occupies space in which it is filled. Second property of air is air has weight. For this, let's see the activity first. Take two balloons. So, we will take one red balloon and one blue balloon and we feel air only in blue balloon. Okay, now. Hang both the balloons on two heads of the stick. Hang the stick from the center with a thread. Now what you notice? Yes, the stick which has balloon filled with air. That is the blue balloon weights more and goes down. This shows that air has weight. Okay. Now let us see what are the uses of air. First one is, we need clean and fresh air to breathe and we breathe in air through our nose. Very good. Plants take in air through tiny holes on their leaves and these tiny holes are called stomata. Third use of air is, fish breathe through their, yes, gills. Next one is, we feel air in balls, balloons and tires. And the fifth one is air helps in lightening a fire to keep it burning. This was all about air. One more thing kids, trees keep the air clean. So we must plant more and more trees in our surrounding. Thank you for watching this video. 